Hey folks, thanks for joining me again today. I would like to discuss with you the different types of circular saws. All right, so chances are you probably have had some experience with a circular saw in your past. And chances are it is most likely one like this. This is your basic circular saw. It is a blade connected to a motor, an electric motor. So this one is my very first saw I ever bought. It's seen a lot of use. Um, shoot, it's probably 20 years that I've been using this thing. Uh, as you can see, it's got a short cord because I cut it on accident once. So it's seen a lot of use. Um, it's, it's been a really good saw. It wasn't that expensive. It's a 12 amp electric motor, um, two and a half horsepower. So yeah, it really, it really does a good job. If you keep a sharp blade in these saws, they'll run for a very long time. It's a dull blade that really puts a lot of stress on that motor. So this is your regular circular saw. The other type of circular saw is what's called a worm drive. Now this is called a worm drive because it has a worm drive gearing in this saw. And a worm drive is a series of gears that build a lot of torque into the system. So this has an electric motor also, but what makes this really special is the gearing that's inside this casing. There's some gears and there's a worm drive. So some gears turn and that spins a, a, a cylinder or a spiral type gear, which in turn makes the blade rotate. So what this is really good for is producing a lot of torque. You can really just cut through a whole bunch of stuff. This thing is a uh, more for like a production framing type saw. You wouldn't really need this as a homeowner. Uh, you wouldn't really need this just doing some small stuff. But if you're doing production framing, if you have to rip a board, this thing is super nice. Now there's trade-offs. This produces a lot more torque, but it's also a lot heavier. It's all I can do to keep this straight out without dropping it. It's pretty heavy. Where this guy is super light. So it's nice to have both if you're doing some production framing or if you're framing a house or whatnot, if you can only have one, if you only uh, have the finance to get one, I would get your regular circular saw because chances are you don't need the amount of torque that this one produces. So there you go, folks. There's your two different types of circular saws. Hope the information was helpful for you. And uh, I would challenge you to work hard because hard work is its own reward and try to better yourself today. Do something today that makes yourself better than yesterday. Maybe it's reading a book, maybe it is learning something new, or maybe it's cleaning up your diet. Maybe you're eating a little bit of too, too much junk food and you need to cut that out and clean it up. So thanks again for watching folks and we will see you on the next one.